guys it is officially day one of our summer glow up so it is currently around 5 30 we're about to head to the gym and that is step one of the glow up because working out makes me feel good mentally it makes me feel good physically you have to start every glow up this way because we need to have our physical and mental in check i'm gonna go to the gym have a nice workout and that'll be step one for today's video i'm gonna be doing this over the process of a few days just because i have like different things that i want to get done and do so i'm not doing this all in one day anyways yeah that is the vibe let's glow up for summer because i need a little bit of a revamp so let's go to the gym guys look at this heart on her head she has a literal heart on her head she's such a queen today's gym outfit is just aritzia i wanted to wear shorts kind of hot today so don't want to come out of there sweating too much after the sauna i'm still wearing my puffer because i think it's cold in the morning so i love a good all black gym workout set it honestly makes me feel most confident so love wearing black to the gym let's go work out <laughs> So I just got to my hair appointment. I am so excited. The next step of the glow up is to get my hair done. And I couldn't be more happy because I have so many split ends. My hair has just been... My last haircut was honestly three months ago. Like three and a bit months ago now. I feel like my hair has just grown out so much. And it's got so split. And I got like my curtain bangs cut up to here last time that I went. And now they're literally all the way down here. And I'm like, how does that even grow that fast? I feel like shorter pieces grow faster because it's healthier. I don't know. I swear my hair just grew like a weed these past three months. Which I'm not complaining about. It's a good thing. But it is very, very dead. And she needs a good trim. I'm not getting like anything drastic. It's not going to be a huge you know transformation i feel like when you go into the hair salon and all that you do is cut your hair there's not really much of a drastic difference unless you're getting a lot taken off or if you're getting extensions or something but yeah so i'm just gonna get a nice trim i'm gonna get my face framing layers um trimmed as well yeah just like a fresh summer cut so i'm really excited i go to two different hairdressers one of them is for my keratin treatments and then this is Sophia. I actually went to high school with her, fun fact. And yeah, we were friends in high school. And now she's a hairdresser and she has like her own place. So if you guys need a haircut in the lower mainland, I will link her stuff down below because she's so good. And she does everything. She also does Talia's hair and she does such a good job at it. She's really good at blondes. So go check her out if you guys are looking for a new hairdresser because I know it's hard to find somebody that you could trust. And she always knows like the trends and what's going on. So she she'll always give you a good haircut because she knows what's going on so it's nice having a hairdresser that you could feel safe with you know because when i was like younger a few years ago i didn't have a safe hairdresser and they would always cut five inches off i'd be like can i just get a trim like one inch they would literally cut this much off like one time i went for a hair i will never forget this i went for a haircut appointment before my birthday the day before my birthday and i literally told the lady i just want an inch trim that's it she cut all my hair off i'm not even over exaggerating my hair was like here like all the way past here and she cut it to here i'm not even kidding you like i was shocked it's just so rude when they do that because i specifically ask for an inch and they cut six she cut like maybe more than that off but it was just ridiculous Anyways, I could trust her and it just feels good because I really like the length of my hair right now But I obviously do need to get it trimmed because it's not healthy I feel like I get split ends more frequent than the average person I don't know if that's just like in my head or whatever But I feel like I do and I only use heat like once a week So I don't understand why but I swear my hair splits so fast and so easily So I don't know what I can do about that. Let me know any product recommendations because 
I don't know what I can do about that. And I always use heat protectant as well, so I don't know why I get so much breakage, but it's okay. My hair is really healthy overall. It's just like my ends are just split. My appointment's in five minutes. I was gonna stop to pick a coffee on the way, but then it just seemed busy there and I didn't wanna like get out of the car, stop, and then be late for my appointment. So I'd rather just like be on time and get one afterwards. I know she does have like a little coffee bar set up there, but I think I'm just gonna pick up a nice coffee on the way home so I can dr drink it when I'm driving. So I'm gonna go into my appointment. This is the before. I have sleek my hair back. It's so freaking disgusting and greasy right now. So sorry about that. Don't really have a good transformation, but this is the before. She's really long and dull. Let's go get her chopped. So I just got a keratin treatment done, you guys. And I got, so I got my hair cut by Sophia. I didn't really film in there. And then this was the keratin treatment. So my hair is cut. And it has a treatment on right now, but it's super pin straight, so you can't really see what it's going to look like because I never straighten my hair like this. But in order to, like, do the keratin treatment, she needs to, like, straighten it and make it pin straight. So, so that's why it's, like, super silky. But, oh, my gosh, my hair is so soft. The GoFood is my keratin treatment. Told me that if any of you guys are from the area, Metro Vancouver area, the Lower Mainlands, um, if you guys go to her, you guys could get 20% off if you mention my name. And that is a big discount considering keratin treatments can get pretty pricey depending on the length and the thickness of your hair. And yeah, anyways, I've already talked about some on the podcast, but keratin treatments genuinely changed my life because in the summer I can get my hair wet with no issues. It will air dry so beautifully and shiny and it's frizz free. Humidity doesn't affect it anymore after I get the treatment done. And when I tell you it's like the best thing I've ever put money into, it pretty much is, not gonna lie. So invest in yourself ladies this summer because I am not kidding you when I say it changed my life and every time I wash my hair now it cuts the styling time down by like in a quarter like I barely have to even style my hair anymore because it just makes it so manageable and like I said frizz free humidity doesn't affect it so if it's raining a bit I don't need to worry if it's too hot I don't need to worry my hair stays under control basically what a keratin treatment does is it something about locking proteins into your hair follicle and then it bakes on with the heat and then it's your hair is coated and also it's really really good too because it protects your hair from heat protects your hair from the sun and it's just honestly really good for your hair I've only noticed my hair get shinier and healthier after doing it because it's like way less heat damage so that's a slight anyways I wanted to show you guys the final result of my hair um yeah it's so weird enough because it's so straight but when i like run my hands through my hair it feels like a baby baby's butt it's so soft i am obsessed so i will leave her info down below if you guys are interested wanting to get one but yeah she slays and before you get a keratin treatment make sure to ask for a quote just because you don't want to be like shocked at the price i paid 500 dollars, so i know it's pricey guys but i swear it's so worth it at least for my hair type like it's so 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 worth it and i don't regret a penny because it lasts me like a year so anyways part of this glow up is we need to get our freaking tan on guys i need to get my tan on love getting a little sun kiss glow obviously with a lot of spf because we don't want to do too much harm to our body but i love myself a good beach day and nothing screams a glow up but going to the beach getting a good tan on getting some sun and coming back and i just always feel so good personally for me it makes me feel confident i actually thrifted this bag recently and i am obsessed with it like it can even go on the shoulder how freaking cute is she i'm in love with her i can show you guys what's in it to give you guys some inspiration if you're packing your beach bag because i feel like i have a lot of good essentials in here that will come in handy okay so let's go through this first thing sticking out here i got a spray bottle with ice in it this is courtesy of kat Von D and their pure package but guys this is a mister bottle i filled it up with so much cold water and ice this is going to save me i know i can go in the lake go in the water but when i'm just tanning and sitting it's going to be so nice to just spray myself this is a must and a key we love her of course i got a book i am almost done this one as you can see i just have a bit left but if i get bored i'm gonna get reading because i don't like using my phone at the beach it just doesn't really go hand in hand i feel like a book is essential to bring um i also brought deodorant because i feel like we're gonna be sweating it's good to reapply 
this is just like a natural one by bloom i brought a hand sanitizer because if you want to eat but you feel like your hands are all dirty this will come in handy and then i got my gopro because this is what i'm going to be filming on when i go to the beach also I could take it under water rough it out it's a perfect little outdoor camera it just literally slips in your bag it's so tiny and perfect and then i got a comb because my hair's always doing some weird things at the beach and then i got my canon g7x this little girl is roughed up this is like my old camera i have the newer version of her i have the mark iii but as you can see this one's falling apart so i don't really care just putting it in my beach bag because it's already roughed up anyways so this is my beater camera perfect for photos and yeah i basically just use it for photos now and then i got an rx protein bar because you know you're going to be getting hungry and then i got some osea body oil this stuff is so good and makes me glow that's an essential i got my summer fridays lip balm because you just can't not go out of the house with any lip balm and then i got my perfume just to spray on myself if i'm you know feeling a little stanky <laughs> i got a claw clip of course and then just an extra elastic so that is what is in my beach bag for today i'm also going to be bringing um my water bottle this is from simple modern love their stuff i recently also got their tumbler these are so amazing my water bottle doesn't actually fit in my bag so it's like a mini bag but that's okay i'll just carry it on the side so it's not that big of a deal but yeah and then obviously my phone i feel like that is just a given but i like keeping it in my bag all day because otherwise if i keep it in the sun it like overheats it gets sand everywhere and i just like keeping her safe in my purse so this is like a beach bag slash purse because it's so tiny but i'm sorry guys i wish i had the link but it's just so cute so i'm going to the beach with my brother and my sister and i just had to pick up some sun sunscreen i got this hawaiian tropic 30 spf i was gonna get 50 but then they my sister yelled at me and she's like don't get 50 so she wanted me to get 30 anyways whatever i'm just gonna be reapplying and make sure but hopefully we'll be fine but all the sunscreen that we have at my house apparently is expired and i don't have any so we secured the spf baby so excited i don't even have a beach towel yet but i need to like order one or buy i don't even know where to buy a beach towel i'm guessing amazon i don't know but i have to order one so i'm just gonna be borrowing um one from like my family's house so that's fine but let me know a good place to get a beach towel because literally where do you get those like that's such a family thing to have and then when you move out you're like shit i don't have a beach towel it's just funny even now to this day i still don't have stuff after i moved out that i like should have you know anyways okay Oh, well, let's go. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just Hold on tight This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn Part of my summer glow up is staying in shape and staying healthy not just for even like my physical health but also for my mental health it makes such a difference the weather here has been literally insane and so it has made me want to stay in my air-conditioned home <laughs> there's a heat wave like a heat warning going on right now going outside it's like hard to breathe so staying in my nice air-conditioned home and being able to work out here is amazing exercising indoors is definitely a lot more appealing than exercising in hot hot weather so i actually just got the yesol g1m plus bike this is actually the best thing ever because now i can easily work out from the comfort of my own home which i have never been able to do before it just makes it so convenient and now i really don't have any excuse to not go and work out 
I've actually always wanted to try and get a workout bike because I have heard people rave about them and some people are obsessed with cycling. So I'm actually so excited to be able to have one now. Going to cycling classes like Soul Cycle or whatever, that can get really, really pricey fast, especially if you want to go often. And the fact that you can use this bike unlimited time and it's just a one-time purchase is literally amazing. My favorite thing about this whole entire bike is you can cast from your phone. So while you're riding, you can obviously put on their classes that they have because they have free classes that you could take. The best thing is, is you can expand your workout choices to basically whatever you want. You can put on Peloton classes, you can put on classes on YouTube. And so your workout option classes are unlimited because it all could stream from your phone via the wired connection. All you have to do to cast is plug your phone in, super easy. And there's even a phone stand on the bike, which makes it super helpful. So the bike is literally only $4.99 or $3.99 with my exclusive discount. And this bike offers so much value in comparison to the other ones on the market right now, especially for that amazing price. It also has immersive audio and video visual experience. It has a high definition 21.5 inch screen. Guys, it's actually huge. It's also coupled with enhanced 360 degree sound quality from four speakers and two subwoofers. So you can really feel like you're in a workout class. If you pop straight out of that saddle, nice and tall is in position three. And when you take it back down, pull those hands inside. It is a vibe. Workout classes are like my absolute favorite and you get that feeling and experience, but from the comfort of your own home. So I don't know how you can want more. I usually hate doing cardio unless it's a fun activity and this is a fun activity. So I actually love this. If you guys already, you know, have tried cycling then you already know it's super fun, especially like with the music and it's just such a vibe. I just think it's so important to find things and workouts that you actually like so that you stay consistent doing them. I feel like that's so important. Like I said, workout classes can get super, super expensive. So this is just makes it all that more convenient. Okay, but this is actually the bike of the summer. And what's cool too is you don't even have to use it inside if you don't want to. If you have like a deck or something or an outdoor space, put it outside in the shade if you want a little, you know, outdoor, indoor workout. You can put it wherever you want in your house, in your garage. I think I might even move mine to my garage. If you guys want to check out the bike, I will leave my code and the link and everything you need to know down below in the description. They are also having a prime day sale right now so go check that out everything all the info will be in the description so go click and we can have matching bikes and maybe even do a workout class together so let's be healthy fit queens from the inside out this summer thank you so much to yes for sponsoring today's video to slay hey guys so next part of the glow up is we are getting our nails done this is the before i just have white french chip and they're grown out i always get french chip down just because it's like my favorite and it always ends up being so good it grows out nice etc so i think i'm gonna get friendship again but change it up a bit for the summer and get pale yellow because last time we got our nails done they have this really pretty yellow shade and i haven't been able to find that our other nail salon that we used to go to and so that's why i haven't gotten pale yellow friendship and i just feel like it's a perfect color for july spice it up for the summer a bit and if i want to go back to white afterwards i can so anyways that is the tea, here's the before. Let's go get them done. Okay, so I have done a little bit of shopping recently for the summer. I still want to do a bit more just because I feel like I'm starting from ground zero. Since I haven't gone shopping for summer clothes, like I barely even went shopping last year. And I just feel like I don't really like anything I had in the past. And I just want something like new, fresh things, but not like overconsumption. Because I recently did just clean out my closet and I realized I'm missing a lot of like staple pieces. And I want to try to build more of like a capsule wardrobe so I can mix and match more things and just like have staple good quality pieces. Anyway, so I did a bit of shopping for the summer. I'm going to give you guys a bit of like a cumulative haul that I have been accumulating. First thing is first, I got this tank. It is by, it's from Aritzia. It's their TNA home stretch. Got it in an extra small. I feel like a white basic tank is needed for the summer. Um, the one that I'm wearing right now, this is Aritzia Butterline and it's actually supposed to be like a workout tank. But I have found that wearing it as like a normal tank top is like so cute when it comes back in stock i definitely love love to get this one in white but i have this one now just for the summer because i don't think they're going to come back in stock anytime soon so this is just a nice basic staple tank top which is needed i don't really just have a white plain one so needed that also from aritzia i guess this is not like overly summery but i got their seamless tank top or 
shirt like this is a natural t-shirt and i have just been wanting um another basic one of these and i got it in black just because i don't have like a really good quality black t-shirt right now i can wear this with a pair of shorts like this is it could be summer it's versatile so i've just been wanting like a staple nice black t-shirt and the material of this is super good for summer because i feel like it'll be okay if you sweat in it since it's like that seamless kind of skims dupe material so this is a sleigh now i already wore this romper so that's why it's a bit musty and i kept the tag on i leave the tag on everything when i wear it and i always get called out for it like why is the tag still on and i'm like i was gonna rip it off and then i just forgot about it so sorry embarrassing but i'm notorious for that anyways this is such a cute freaking romper and it was only i know this is kind of so expensive but i got it from their clientele sale and i think i got it for like 65 70 dollars which originally it's like 90 or something this is like a frankie's dupe romper because there's like a frankie's version that's like two 200 dollars and yeah this is just so adorable and i'm gonna be wearing it all the time and it's the butter material i believe such a good material by them and i will buy anything butter and i've been wanting like a new cute black romper and that could be worn for working out or i would even just wear it in the summer for a walk or something um and then on the topic of workout clothes i finally got one of those like bbl jackets or whatever the zip up tight black jackets that just snatch you and i got it in the butter material everything i got from them i got from their clientele sale so that's why i went a little overboard this guy is this jacket just it will make anybody look good i promise you and i'm so excited to wear this just to go work out on a walk in the morning the pair of leggings it will snatch you so i'm excited for this and it's very summery because instead of wearing like a jacket in the morning i can just put on this little cute you know sweater when i go work out or go to the gym as you know, I've been getting into tennis and this is so over the top, but I feel like I, can, I would wear this regardless anyways, like just as a cute skirt in the summer. I might exchange it because they didn't have a small in the white and I wanted the white, so I got an extra small that I tried it on and it's a little bit snug. So I might go back and see if they have the small in and exchange it or just return it because it is a bit snug on me. How cute is this Nike? skirt i got it from sports check and i just kind of walked in because joel wanted to go in and then i saw this and i'm like i need it it was also on sale i think it was like 25 percent off or something and yeah it's like a score and how cute even like this with a tank and a pair of sambas just on a chill day i would do it aritzia again i got this beautiful cute little girly it's called a lulu shy pink i got it an extra small how cute is she how cute it's so just dainty and girly and i love little tops like this for the summer i feel like this isn't something i'm gonna get super bored of this season because i feel like this is like a versatile top that will be in for a long time and i love the little bow it's so cute and then oh my gosh this skirt is adorable this is their i don't know what the name is but it's like a cargo skirt and if you could hear the material it has like little pockets in the front and i've just been wanting new cute skirts and just things to spice up the outfit like i could just wear this with a plain tank top and it would look really cute I'm really happy with this purchase i love it so much and i got in black so it can match with a lot of you know different tank tops and then i got this is like my favorite pair of shorts ever now they're from aritzia again and they're the sunday demo shorts in 90s medium blue the wash of these is just exactly what i was looking for the fit is just absolutely perfect they had a good sale they're originally 80 i think they were on sale for 50 dollars during the client's tail sale just so good and shorts of the summer i'm gonna be wearing these all the time i do want to get one other staple pair of jean shorts just because i have like literally none but yeah these are so cute they're just everything they're like the perfect length i also do want to get a pair of jorts and i need more like soccer shorts i used to have a bunch of soccer shorts but i threw them all out but i need more because they're in now and they're comfy and they're cute so stay tuned for more videos because i will be going thrifting but like yeah anyways literally obsessed and i already wore this tank top so she is musty but like look at this you could get the point it's like a little you know white tank and i didn't realize when i bought it that i just had bought the other white tank but they're kind of different styles so i'm always wearing white i feel like too i love wearing light colors because it kind of makes my hair pop more so it will be worn and i feel like you just you could have enough tank tops but i wear like three a day i always am changing so it's good to have just like basic staple ones and then last clothing item this is not very summery either but i got the a hoodie because i realized that i don't have a staple black hoodie like what am i doing every time i go to reach for black hoodie i don't have a nice one i have one i have one that i thrifted like a long time ago but it's so just like not it it's like worn out and kind of not 
nice anymore so i was on the hunt for the perfect hoodie and this is literally called the perfect hoodie and i got it in a size medium because that's like the fit that i like and yeah she was on sale too so why not i also feel like in the summer you do need a good staple hoodie for the nighttime around a campfire or you know the vibes i recently went to shoppers drug mart i got the eucalyptus and mint native deodorant i got two because they were on sale it was originally 23 dollars on sale for 15 so i'm like we're getting two today this is my favorite all-time deodorant native brand because they're natural every ingredient on here is good you need like extra deodorant in the summer so thought i'd stock up a little bit and it doesn't leave a white cast which is like most important because i hate when deodorants leave a white cast and like it stains your not stains but it just gets everything dirty if you're wearing black so i got two and then i also stocked up on lip liner this has actually been my favorite drugstore cheap lip liner it's only like four dollars and it's the essence eight hour matte comfort lip liner in the shade rosy nude 04 this is a sleigh lip liner and it's a like you know swivel one got two because i have probably like 15 lip liners and i don't know where one is i can't locate one because they get literally put everywhere in the house and my purse is and they just disappear so that's why i like buying cheap lip liner because i always end up losing them and i do have an expensive lip liner the charlotte tilbury one that's like i don't know 30 dollars and honestly these are almost just as good so i would definitely recommend but anyways yeah that is my little summer haul that i've accumulated over the past like couple months um so yeah definitely gonna be doing a little bit more shopping just to stock up for the season a bit more i kind of want to get like i said another pair of shorts comfy shorts and honestly that's basically it i just need some more like bottoms but and maybe sunglasses you can never have enough sunglasses so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that haul and i really just want to get into summer fashion this year and like have fun with it because last year i didn't do that so slay